Hello lovely people. I'm Michal Kali Griggs from Tantra Movement for those who don't know me yet. Today I will speak about our three parts of ourselves and honoring, loving ourselves, all these three parts. So it's about our higher self, about our human being and about our animal inside of us. They are, according to Tantra, very important and equal parts of us. We, as a human beings, we have our soul, our spirit, what some people call higher self, but can be also that we have our animal, our inner child, our lower self, and all those parts would like to be alive. If we suppress one or another, then we are not feeling complete. We may feel very enlightened, for example, but our inner child, our animal, will not have space to play. And life is too serious to be too serious. So let's all parts to be alive. So we have to take care that all those parts are alive. Otherwise, some suppressed part, like animal, can take over in the revenge, in the way of taking care for itself and start to be, for example, furious if we suppress the anger. So it's nice to find the ways how to allow our animal or our inner child, our lower self, all those parts to be alive, to channel those emotions into the healthy way, into the way how we choose in the moments what we choose, not suddenly taking over and exploding with a full of anger or full of desires and so on and so on. Also we have to understand that we are living in this planet and it's not every day the same. Sometimes there are different days and sometimes our life it's not so beautiful. Sometimes we have challenging moments. Maybe someone passed away from our life. Maybe we have some broken heart relationship. Maybe we are tired, overworking. It's important to realize that in those moments we have tendency that the suppressed part will take over. So this animal part of desiring part will take over and we would act just from lower self. That's the moments when we feel low, these parts are the most powerful at that moment. And we have to realize, yes, those parts are just asking to be alive in those moments where they feel powerful. And if we don't like them to take control, we have to give them space to be alive, that they don't have to take control, that they feel completed, accepted in your being. If you are very so-called spiritual being, but you suppress your animal urges, your desires, your lower part, you, we call it spiritual bypass your lower self and in that way you meditate, pray, do rituals, whatever, but you will not feel happy, you will not feel complete because part of you would be feeling betrayed and feeling uh, not accepted. So it's important to give that part. And yes, uh, fun is better, easier to choose what way you would like to channel, for example. Many of us may have anger issues and so. It's natural. If you feel so, maybe choose some fight sport, Muay Thai or whatever. Uh, punch the pillow in the moments where you can choose to punch the pillow. 
otherwise this anger if you suppress keeping suppressing it will explode in the moment where you didn't expect it and will take control over you and you will do some stupid things like destroying some gadgets or even hitting someone and then regretting it severely because you lose control the suppressed part exploded take over back its place in you so in Tantra we guide ourselves to create harmony between those parts that the soul, the holy us, the Sirius gives a, a space also to the jolly one, to the joyful animal. So we go dance, we go enjoy our life. It's spiritual doesn't mean to be always serious. Real spirituality, it loves also that lower part and it found the harmony and it gives the harmony to the being. The humanness, it gives us the choice that we always can choose for uh, act from the soul or act from the animal. And when we do not suppress both those parts, we can choose any time whatever we would like to act from. And there are some moments, like in lovemaking, that we could be animal and enjoy that. There are some moments that in the ritual we would like to enjoy the sacredness. Our spiritual being, our soul, give it a space. Also in lovemaking, sometimes we can choose for that. And that's beautiful. Yes, that's what the uh, angels may envy to us, that we have this free will, that we can choose to be whoever we want to be. We are God and we are the animal. And that's completely beautiful. And this godliness, it's freedom to choose that today maybe when I play with the kids, I would like to be silly one. I would like to be the animal. And they will love it. And that's the love will speak through me to them. So it's beautiful to be animal. It's beautiful to have children, for example, or have children around, because then you can play as a kid, allow your inner child to have fun, and everybody would think, oh, such a great father you are. But if you have fun without the children, they will think, hmm, this guy is crazy, maybe we should lock him down, and so on. So it's a strange world we are living. But uh, yes, when we understand all of this, uh, we may choose always for better life. And be always easy on yourself. Remember that when uh, the animal is taking over, it's just temporary because we didn't give the space to that animal. And it's uh, the signal for us to learn, to allow the animal to do some Osho dynamic meditation where you can express yourself. That's all in Tantra. It's needed. Because if we like to go high, we have to also learn how to go low and allow ourselves to go low and accept our lower states and that sometimes we are in these challenging moments. We have tendency to go back sometimes into our old habits and so on and so on. They just remind us that we have still those issues. And that's okay to still have those issues. That's okay to have those reminders. We are human beings. We are not angels yet. Sometimes we can act as angels and that's completely good. If we choose for it and if we choose for it more and more often, we can create heaven on earth. But because we are humans, we can accept also the animal parts of us. And there would be not heaven on earth without having earth in it element. And animals are the earth. So enjoy your animalness without feeling guilt and shame. Learn from it, learn how to do it in the best way that it doesn't harm someone, doesn't slow down, but empower your growth. That's all in Tantra. Thank you very much for your attention. It was lovely to speaking to you.